because I too see it as a life-saving uh, potential. And based on research and data, it shows a significant reduction in alcohol-related crashes and recidivism in states that have passed first-time ignition interlock laws. Currently, 29 states require the use of ignition interlock for all first-time offenders at point 08. This law has a unique component as it will allow the DUI driver to keep their license, but would mandate that they can only operate a vehicle equipped with an ignition interlock device. And thank you to the Ignition Interlock Coalition who has a, a, a vehicle for uh, our media to, to check out and try. I know in Las Vegas when we held a press conference we, before session, um, what, what I did was, uh, or they had me do, is to put a little Listerine in my mouth and then spit it out and then try to, to, to blow into it and start the car. And just that little bit of, little bit of alcohol that's in mouthwash uh, would not allow me to start the car. And that is exactly the intent.